Dow's pass intercepted. No one in the country gave us a chance to win that game, but we believe within our own circle that we can get it done. But coming out of that tunnel that year um, was unreal. I mean, as a, as a player, I grew up 30 minutes from there, knowing in the stands that I had family, I had friends, um, and I had friends on the other team. Yeah, I was amped up all week. The thing that we kept focusing on was that, hey, we hang in there, we got a chance to win this game. During that time, you really felt like, oh, man, we, we had our shot, and then you know, I got sacked towards the end, or I threw an incomplete pass at the end, and uh, I felt like, man, we got to punt the ball away. And then all of a sudden, we, we get, we punt it, we get it back, we're able to first play. I mean, Sean has an unbelievable run um, to get us into overtime. And he goes in for the touchdown! And then in overtime, he makes a great run, and the offensive line, Chris Samuels, Sean Draper, those guys do a great job of, of running the counter and blocking for uh, Sean, and Sean runs into the end zone, which, and that was a great feeling right then, you know, okay, they just missed their extra point, but in overtime, we got a chance to win this game. Touchdown! Morgan is the holder. How narrow do those pipes look right now? Once they missed that, it was destined. We felt like, hey, we have a shot. I mean, it, we're supposed to win this game. If they miss that extra point, we're supposed to win this game. And just so happened, one of my best friends growing up in high school was one of the guys that jumped. There's two guys that jumped on that play, but one of my best friends jumped and um, called them off sides. They missed it. His kick is no good! It was off sides on Florida. It was, uh, it was like, man, we just escaped. Now we got another chance to win this game. It sort of took away the feel. It was like, okay, now we gotta, you know, cross our fingers and make this next one. A roller coaster all day, and that just was typical. Uh, that game that day it was just typical for it to be a roller coaster for both sides of the ball, and just what happened, we were to come out on top. But after that game, I can just remember grabbing Gerald Warren, was a big D tackle for Florida, who I grew up with, one of my best friends, and Ben Alexander. We sat there and hugged for you know for 10 minutes, and just remember uh, we we've been to war together, and now we were battling each other. Uh, we won, like I said, three state championships in high school together. And, but to come against those guys and knowing the talent that they have um, and being after that game, uh, just we couldn't, you can't describe how you really feel. And then when you get back to Tuscaloosa, it was like, look, let's just get back to Tuscaloosa because we know Tuscaloosa is probably on fire right now. That game, I would say that game and um, the Auburn game, I'll go Auburn won and, and that Florida game too. The Auburn game won because only the situation I had come out of and not playing a whole lot my senior year. But Florida in the swamp was, uh, was one of those games that I put in you know, my top two games.